and we'll approach Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's the captain? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Not been. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Uh -huh. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Huh. So what's going on? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Covert operation, huh? Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. That hand motion that he does on that line, it always sticks Unearth with me. Some it's like the most awkward looking during thing. An excavation. It was Prothean. I've, I've, I've got that hand motion memorized in my head, and the entire trilogy of games, of all the little directorial moves that they made in this game, having characters move this way, taking this shot versus that shot, and dialogue, you know, scenes and stuff, that motion with his arm is like the most brazen standout thing to me. It just seems so different. And I wonder, to myself, I wonder if Keith David, the actor, read the line that way, on, like you know, with the emphasis on need-to-know basis, and they decided to put the hand motion in there because of the way he read the line, or if they gave him the direction, like, hey, put some emphasis on need-to-know, like, make it sound, you know, forceful, and then, because they already had in mind that he would do some kind of weird motion there. These are the kinds of things I think about when I play these games. It's kind of silly. I wonder, in the making of the game, what caused a decision like that to be made, you know, Anyway, uh, what now? Research human empire? Yeah, 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 beacon. Okay. Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Hmm. This is big, Shepard. The last Real time big. humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I guess that explains why he's here. Um... Well, I guess I'm glad that this is a multi-species effort. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Hmm. What's the evaluation for? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Sure. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows oh. how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live. A particularly useful yeah. talent. More like luck. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Oh, Some good. of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like you, Nihilus. You, uh, support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Hmm. Buddy You'll Cop be in movie. charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship. Raton Riggs. Wonder which one's Nihilus Riggs. will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. Um, what do we know about the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. 
If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That God. is just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. What if it's a Rolodex for recipes? What's the wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. I, I realize that I'm kind of getting into territory that my character should already know. Like, he's not going to ask, what are the Terminus systems? Because he's he, he knows. Um, in fact, that last question that I asked, who whose hands will we be worried about getting them into? He probably already knew the answer to that. I should maybe be more careful. Um... And I, pr I don't think he'd ask about the Protheans because he probably knows enough about them to hazard a guess as to, you know, why this is critically important. Uh, anything about Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Huh. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes... Humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. All right. I think uh, we should get the mission started. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down, get down, get down, get down. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get uh, evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Yeesh. Cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. <laughs> I like that he knew the time marker automatically. Ooh, that was Nihilus's oh shit face. Status report 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to yeah. secure the small beacon. strike teams are the only thing the alliance knows Grab how to operate. Apparently, need us in the cargo hold. Cargo hold. Uh, where's that? Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Alenko and Jenkins. All right. Which one of them is going to survive the longest? You think? Engaging stealth systems. Okay, we'll keep it quiet. Tell Somebody everybody. was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Yeah. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. What? The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Hmm. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Aw. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Uh, oh, I'm already here. Ship okay. Alright, good to know, soldier. Let's, uh... Let's stay frosty. Roger that. What do we got? What are these things? What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Yeah. Not very cute, though. So, yeah, Mass Effect. I felt like I needed to do, uh... 
Something that wasn't a fantasy game. I'm doing a sci-fi game instead, you know? Something different. Improved sighting. Okay, now where do I go? Uh... Uh... Shepherd of Normandy! Um... Help? Where to? Oh wait, I think I found it. Okay, uh, Shepard out. Oh God, what happened here? Why would I holster my weapon? No, I'm not gonna holster my weapon. Shit's crazy down here. Yeesh. Lenko, check for life signs. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't 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 waste your time. More gas bags, huh? Uh oh. Wait, which weapon do I have armed? I just thought of that. Because I only have training in pistols. Whoa! Uh, okay, good. I have the pistol armed. Let's see. Well, hey, that didn't take very long. Wait a minute. Dude, you're already... I forgot that he died that quickly, Jenkins. God damn it, dude. You can't even take out a couple of drones. Alright, hang on. Let's level up here. Um, okay, so what do we want? We want, um, let's do assault training and put two in pistols so we get marksmen. Caden, let's give you barrier, first aid, um, sentinel, and another two throw. And let's see what other journals say. Find the beacon. Head to the dig site. Right. And what's the codex say? Weapons, armor, upgrades. Uh, the development of practical manufacturing, manufacturing, omni tools, allows modern militaries a great deal of flexibility in equipment loadouts. A vast number of field modification kits or upgrades are available for common equipment such as weapons, armor, omni tools, biotic amps, and even grenades. An upgrade kit typically consists of less than a dozen unique parts and an optical storage uh, disk. When loaded into an Omni tool, the OSD provides all technical specifications required to manufacture the tools and additional parts necessary to install the upgrade onto another piece of equipment. Assembly is typically modular, and installation can be completed in less than a minute. Since Omni tools are designed to use common battlefield salvage materials such as plastics, ceramics, and light metals, rendered into semi-molten Omni gel for quick use, it is quite possible for a trained soldier carrying upgrade kits to customize gear on the battlefield to fit the current tactical situation. Oh, nice. See, again, like, they actually, like, it's not just a thing you slap onto your gun. They actually explained how all this crap works. Um, yeah, okay. So, yes, I'm going to interrupt the action every now and then to, uh, read the codex. I know. That's what's happening. Oh, the old close his eyes trick. You're at a chance. Should have had barrier. Um, can't help him now. Deserves a barrier. A burial. Yeah. You know, we just walked past two charred bodies that aren't probably going to get a burial. So let's just say we can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that. Imagine beacon. my character is used to that. Aye, aye, sir. All right, Alenko. Oh God, the codex again. Continue to the dig. Okay, you don't have to give me an update there. That's fine. Uh, oh, here we go. Kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. 
The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. Got it. Nothing there. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, let's do a... Yeah, sure. New save. Groovy. Right. Let's draw weapons then, because this shit's crazy. You already had a marine die. Uh, maybe not a marine. A soldier. Wait, he did say he was a marine, didn't he? I guess we all are marines. Whoa. Um, let's see, can we do anything cool? Yeah, let's warp this dude. Yeah, nice. Woo! I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Roger that, Nihilus. Hmm? Hmm. Watch me, Caden. What is my quick save button? F5? F9? It's not F7, is it? I hope it's not F7. <laughs> I may have to change my record button. Press and hold space bar. No, I don't want to change weapons because I'm not Come trained on. in any other... Whoa, shit! Any other weapons. Take cover. Uh, let's use warp again. Where is it? Oh, it's recharging still. Okay, marksman. Oh. Okay, maybe that was a little excessive. Oh. Clear, huh? Medical kit. Medigel, nice. All right, can't go that way. Whoa, what the? Okay, I understand now. <laughs> Run! Uh, I don't think that was tactically sound, soldier. Oh no! Hmm. Man, the Geth are a cool idea for a bad guy, I gotta say. I understand that they, you know, were inspired by... Uh, what's... what's... I can sprint, can't I? I don't remember how to sprint. Been a while since I played the game. Uh-oh. Thanks for your help, Commander. Oh, Anything thanks, Caden. Uh, I guess I went the wrong way, didn't I? Maybe not the wrong way, but I went the long way. Hang on, soldier, let me just make sure the area is secure here. Gunnery oh, Chief Ashley okay. Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I am. Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What about your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Hmm. I can relate. Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Do you want to lead us? You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What about the science team? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. 
They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. So it looks like the Geth are here. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Have you seen a Turian uh, in a red-black armor? Kind of grumpy. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Alright, let's move out. Move out. Nope. Oh, yay. Take all. Uh, pressing I opens the equipment screen, which allows you to switch and modify the weapons. Blah, 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 blah. Not gonna do that now. It doesn't really seem... Well, they did explain that you can do it in the... Yeah, okay, fine. We can do it while we're on the f in the field. Fine. Uh, equip. What? Oh, this is the pistol. Right. Uh... I think I'd rather have the accuracy right now, honestly. Yeah. It's a big bonus to damage, though. Um, and then... What do we got for... Mods? Improved sighting. Oh, armor-piercer rounds. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Um, what do we got for armor? Nothing. 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 Right. Okay. Oh. Okay. No, they're not gonna have anything either, are they? Oh, you know what though? We have a, a level up to do with Ashley, I think. Four points. Um, assault rifles. Soldier. And two two. Combat armor. <laughs> Excuse me, combat armor. And of course, the Codex. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Hmm. Spooky robot people. Why is this message still there? Get rid of that goddamn message. Ugh. Yes, I've done that. Do I have to go through the mall or something? No. Nope. Okay, whatever. It's just gonna be there, I suppose. Okay, um... 